Alright guys and welcome. welcome back to more Shin Megami Tensei Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth And we are here about to sell a lot of the items we just obtained from killing like a lot of those FOEs we fought I would say two of those FOEs we fought that we killed very quickly thanks to Impure Reach and Ken <laughs> Shoutouts to Ken instantly killing these foes out here so we want to sell, look at that, look at this money, 102k yen. Dude, like we are about to, dude. And then we got some rare, some rare um materials. Shut up, shut up, Theo. We got some super rare materials from power spots as well. So as you can see, we got the four beast unlocked. We got a hell grenade. We got kind of shiggy anti-seal armor, twin suits. We got the pimp suits, we got the pimp juice, we got Nelly's entire album for sale in this game now, so we can completely listen to Nelly on this game if we want to. Oh, look at that, magic bind protection, we get strength protection, or strength bind protection, agility protection with this. A curious veil which protects the wearer from binds, that is actually pretty dope. Action vest. Although her endurance goes down by three, that's not really that much of a uh, difference for Chia because she's already like tough and she has some high defense. So we're gonna buy her the Mystic Veal for sure. Yup. Oh yeah, man. She has pimped the hell out. All right, for Naro, the Night Scale. What does he currently have on now? He has something that boosts. You know, we need to boost his um. Finally, the girls actually get something stronger than the guys. That's very good, but for the guys, they get the knife skill. Uh, we might just want to give him the metal protector, to be honest. It boosted it to 150 and gives him more endurance, but hey, look at this. Mm, should we give him the knife skill? I think we are going to give him the knife skill. We got the money for it, like, fuck. Survival guard? I think we will. We can buy those, so. Uh, who's el who else is in my party? Yosuke? Yosuke needs nothing new. He already's top tier. Akihiko, on the other hand, we can give him. You might as well just give him the night scale as well. We got all this money, dude. Like, we're balling out of control. Ken. Uh, Ken, Ken is in the back row. We don't really need to upgrade his equipment that much, but we will go ahead and equip his what no Do I even want to upgrade his weapon is the uh, is the decision here like If you look at look at his stats sure, okay his stats goes up if I buy this right But the thing is this is awesome because he lands binds consistently he, he lands every time I have him attack He seems to consistently land the strength bind and that's really good because it doesn't really take up a slot in his skills to, to try to attempt to strength bind an enemy so I might actually just keep it the same and then I'll look look at the, on top of that it would cost me 1500 yen just to buy this new item but the thing is I think it's it's inferior it doesn't even really boost it up by that much his attack by too much and it doesn't have a passive skill like his power uh, snare so I'm not gonna buy him anything new Akihiko on the other hand pugilist fist I think I'm going to give him the Lucky Cat Paw because it actually has something else other than a strength boost. So I'm going to sell his Sonic Fist. Akihiko is very nervous, but he's in my party only because I accident accidentally kept him in my party, you know? Mitsuri, on the other hand, might actually be coming back in. Look at that magic! She's insane with that magic! This 60 is off the charts, and her luck is not bad either. So Mits Mitsuru is actually pretty dope right now. If you just have her as a like a healer and then have her like be the one to cast magic skills to you know to, to take out random encounters, she'll be good. Cause I taught her like most of the uh, elemental skills. And then she has a high SP pool. So she's pretty decent. Um I'm probably not gonna buy her any new weapons. Uh, Shinji. Look at that arrow hammer though. At least it's strong wind upon impact, so it gives him a wind element. Yuki, Yukiko, um, nothing. Naoto, I'll probably. She has some very low endurance, dude. 
And she's a... Dude, her luck is as high as Mitsuru's, but she's on a way lower level than Mitsuru, which is hilarious. Seed Ryu Claw. I, I don't think I'll ever use Teddy. Teddy is not the character for me, because he's kind of a scrub-a-dub-dub, stat-wise. Like, everybody else has something overall better than Teddy. And then overall, like, their stats are a lot higher than Teddy. Like, damn, dude, the creator behind this game, or anybody, somebody that was, like, I guess, balancing stats must have not liked Teddy all too much. Oh, nice. Do I already have these equipped, though? What does she have? A, yeah, she already has the Genbu uh, Greaves, so I'm not even going to change that. Naru, on the other hand, who, what does he have? Tizona? A cop piece. Yosuke... Yosuke has the poison knife. He can continue to wield that poison knife. He has a chance of landing poison with it, so... Spiral Bowl. Alright, I think we're done buying stuff. Uh, armor for Zen and Rei, but you know what? Ain't nobody got time for that. I await your next visit. But well, here we go, guys. Onward to the new labyrinth. Or, excuse me, to more exploration on the fourth floor of the third labyrinth. So we need to get back to where we were before, and it's not really too hard because we opened a shortcut previously, and it looks like that FOE came back, but we're not going to be going that way, it looks like, which is good, actually. So we don't have to worry about any more dumb FOEs, or dealing with that FOE right, again. Let's try... let's try ice. And I completely forgot to bring Mitsuru again. Damn it! Why? How did I forget that? Like, I don't even understand how I forgot. Oh, this dude's about to get rocked really hard, though. He may not be weak against nothing, but he's about to get rocked once we get started. So, I guess we can go ahead and Matu the Kaja. And let's actually start trying to instantly kill this guy. We haven't even attempted to try to instantly kill this guy. So, the bind landed. <laughs> Let's see if we if he's weak against light. Wow, that guy is weak. Yo, Ken is just that ended too soon. Ken is just so good, dude. Ken is just godlike. But right now, we got like a lot of the pieces to the puzzle here, and we need to go find a way to pretty much solve this puzzle so we can keep moving on. And we haven't even reached a part or a part where we need to actually use this information we gathered off of the notes we found through this labyrinth. So we gotta pretty much find a way to progress once we get there. We also just gotta find where to use the puzzle skills or the puzzle information. There's a four-way door here. Interesting. Interesting. This might be the start of the puzzle. That area looks suspicious. Maybe we should try looking around. Alright, let's look at it at. Or let's look at it. There's a thick book covered in dust on the shelf. It seems to be a math textbook. Hmm. Could this be? No matter what page I turn it to, it has the same symbols written on it. Hmm. These seem like symbols used in algebra. We saw the same one used in the piece of notebook paper posted on the bulletin board. There's a little, there's little doubt that there is some kind of tie between the two. So that was just a little hint telling you you are getting near the puzzle. The door won't open. It seems to be locked. Oh. The door is unlike the other ones. An electrical security lock is in place. All right, interesting. So it's a shut door. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig. What is this door? The door won't open. It seems to be locked. Huh? Another one that won't open. <sighs> Do we need to find a key again? Not quite. This door doesn't seem to have a keyhole either. I'm sure this is another one of those doors we can pass through once we solve the mystery behind it. We came across something that looked like cold before we got here. Why don't we look and see if we can find any more clues? We found something on the desktop over there. So I guess the only other door we can go through is this middle one. Yep. Oh boy. So if you don't want to be like, if there's any dolls here, I found like the best way to avoid any like jump scares is, is just a strafe <laughs> strafe all right here we go so what we want to do is label these doors oh my god this is just pitch black careful 
There are foes hiding in that room. Really? <laughs> Bitch. You seems you can't pass through on this side. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and strafe left. Left again. That's fine. We're going to label her down. Um, doesn't that area look a little suspicious? Yes, Ken. We do know it looks suspicious, so let's check it out. Some x-rays are posted here. Um... Why are x-rays so scary when you see them in these circumstances? <laughs> Nothing shows up on my x-rays, you know. Come here, Chi-Chan, and my arms are wide open for you. My arms are wide open. <laughs> That's actually scarier. Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, Teddy is creepy. We've been around him so long we stopped noticing. That's scary too. <laughs> no! I'm not scary or creepy. But you are a pervert. <laughs> she, she laughed at my jokes. She gets the fucking deal. Alright, so exactly what the hell are we doing in this room? I don't know. I guess we gotta find a way to, to turn on a light switch. Alright, let's keep progressing through here. We're 55% done. I see something up ahead. Should we go check it out? Alright, let's check it out. There's something on the shelf, but it's too dark in the room that you can't make it out. It seems to be a thick book. Hmm. It's most likely one of those math textbooks. Oh, it's too dark to be sure. Let me just open it up and... Huh? I can't read it. <laughs> Again? Is that because it's too dark, Kanji? Or... What's up, Pop? All you guys trying to make fun of me? Of course it's because it's, it's too dark. <laughs> Do you need these glasses so you can see better? Huh? You little... Cut it out. This is enough. Ugh. Damn, sorry. My goodness. You three aren't taking this seriously enough. We must explore this labyrinth quickly and... You... Teddy, take off those ridiculous glasses this instant. I'm sorry. Hmm. Once we get back, I order you three to clean up the culture festival. What? If you don't do a good job, then I'll execute you. What? <laughs> Honestly. Not that it needs to, be, or needs to be said, but we can't read this textbook in the dark. Let's check elsewhere. Could there be some purpose to this textbook? I guess we gotta find a way to read the textbook. By that, I mean we probably have to find a way to turn on the light. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. What the? How do we? This That door was locked on the other side. Alright, let's try to find some more clues here. There are three enemies. That would be an average number, would it not? Indeed, and now they're about to get bopped. Get him, kid! Get him, kid! Mahama! Kobe! <laughs> Silent song. Ken can only use physical attacks at the moment. That's fine. I need to switch tactics. Alright, so what we need to do is actually body this guy. Um, what we're gonna do here is probably just go ahead and just go ham on this guy. Uh, Toxic Slice. We don't even know what this guy's weak against because he doesn't seem to have a weakness. Let's try... We don't even have ice. Let's use Repu Strike. Let's just regularly attack here. That binding, Seriously? that bind is just so strong. Jiraiya Sensei. Pyro Jack. Pyro Jack. Uh, cut him. Cut him. Ernest Kelsey is down. Uh. No attitude, right? Attitude, no attitude. Team Chie. Yeah. Team Chie, y'all. Team Chie. If you ain't on Team Chie, then you can just... Well, you can just beat it. You're losers. Team Aaron Fitzgerald for life. Up ahead. I wonder what it is. There's a thick book covered in dust on the shelf. Huh? Is it another one? Is it another math book? It just feels... It's just filled with random symbols again, huh? But this one has minus plus on all the pleasures and not plus plus. You know, I wonder if these are alge algebraic symbols. Yes. Ken might be on the right track. I think it's safe to consider them as such. But that piece of notebook paper and this math textbook, 
What's the connection between the two? Let's continue our investigation. I don't know. There's an FOE coming up. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Strafing to avoid the jump scares in this game. There's something up ahead. You should try searching over there. Alright, as soon as we get to it, of course. There's a shortcut right there. We should explore this entire labyrinth first. Alright, it seems you can't pass through this from this side. Interesting. So I guess what we'll do here is leave a shortcut right there. There's also a door right here. I found the switch! Alright, before we turn on that switch, we're actually gonna go to the other room over there and uh, label all the FOEs that pop up. That's what we really need to do, is label those FOEs. The door won't open, it seems to be locked. You notice a black mark near the keyhole. This would appear to require a black key as well. We often came across them on the ground nearby, so there should be one somewhere close by. Alright, so let's go ahead and activate this light switch then. I should actually label that light switch as a exclamation mark. What the? Where'd that light switch go? Oh, right here. You turned on the switch. Yeah. Baby, baby. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Now we're on the other side. Alright, we gotta keep going through here. Most likely gonna be a pop up coming soon. Big, big, big. A fucking rattle? Are you serious? Shit, I don't even know which way to go. Um, I could go to the right here. Let's go to the left. Fuck. Let's go up. Oh crap, oh crap! There's an FOE right there! Let's get this chest first. Treasure! You're gonna open that box, right? We got a right? Breeze 2-2. Two -two. We got a 2-2. Two -two. Hey guys, we got a 2-2! Two -two. We got us a 2-2! Two -two. Alright, so what we want to do is actually check out that tutu. I said check out that tutu. I forgot how to open the menu. There we go. So, Chie should be able to equip it, right? Breeze tutu. A cute dress that gets the men's attention. I'm going to have her keep the mystic veil. You know that, you know what I think? You know, yeah, she's actually going to keep that on. Mitsuru, on the other hand, should equip it. Dude, she gets an SP buff and a magic buff with that. With the witch dress. But you know what? I think the Breeze Tutu would be a lot better. Because she'll have higher uh, defense. Oh, I think we needed to do that. I think we needed to do that. Oh, uh, look at that. The light switch was over here. There might be a switch nearby. Let's try searching for it. Alright, so we turned on the light now. What we need to do is pretty much navigate through here. Where the FOEs used to be. And look at this. There's a secret passage here. But bam. And it's a well it's a passage you can actually switch between, which is pretty nice. But right now we gotta find a darkness key. There is a rare shadow. Please do not miss this chance. Alright. You can't let it escape. You damn right. So what we're gonna do. Lethargy circle. Um let's just have him attack. And what we're gonna do here is actually try to panic all the enemies with Ken. These supreme hands can cast Mudo. They are not a joke to be messing with. Good stuff. Uh, good stuff, dude. I love that. Let's get them in panic. Even better. All of them got panicked. Pyro Jack. Nice. Yep, he's done. He's guaranteed to die. 
There's no running for him. Mm-mm. You never turn away from me. Strong Asian lady voice. Alright, we got this. Hey, check this out, broske. Nice. Hey, GG. Go and gorilla banana, go and gorilla banana, go and gorilla, go gorilla, go gorilla, go gorilla bananas. Go and gorilla's bananas, go and gorilla's bananas, go and gorilla's bananas. Bananas, bananas, gorillas, gorillas, bananas, bananas, banana. Alright, I'm sorry guys. I kind of went gorilla bananas with my mental state of mind, so I apologize. But hey, Hama should go ham here. Hey, look, Hama has ham in its freaking spelling. So that's when you know it's a good attack. When it actually has ham in its name. Ham. Hama. <laughs> that's what they should name the attack, Hama. It's going Hama. Damn, Aki Eco's leveling up though. We got them supreme pieces. I ain't talking about pizzas. I think that wall's hiding something. We should check it out. All right, let's find. Picked up the darkness keys, but the moment you pick it up, the key disappears. All right, the key reappears near your feet. So the main purpose over here was to pretty much activate that shortcut. It was basically to activate the shortcut so you can get over here and pick up this key. So what we need to do is pretty much put an exclamation right here, leave a note saying it's the key, the darkness key. Dark key. Alright, so what we need to do now is pretty much hurry back over there and pretty much reactivate the uh, door. Or, rea or turn on the light, or turn off the lights again. Oh wow, look at that. I don't need to rock all the, all the way over there again. Maybe somebody ought to press it. There's another light switch over here. Whoa, this chick wasn't there before. Almost fucked up. Alright, so we still have the darkness key on us. We still have it. No worries, guys. And if I sound weird, it's because I was extremely close to my damn 3DS. I was so close. I don't know why. I need my glasses so I don't have to get so close like that. The door won't open. It seems to be locked. You know it's the black mark near the keyhole. Uh huh. The key is in the same room. Did Oh, I didn't even pick it up, did I? Oh, because... Duh, I could pick it up. <laughs> duh. Uh, duh. <laughs> All right, you probably use it to open the locked door nearby. I try to skip a... <laughs> Yo, I thought I was speed running and shit. I thought I used the glitch to have the key on me always, even though if it was a lit room. But anyway, we got the darkness key, and now we can open this room. You use the darkness key to open the black marked door. The darkness key disappeared. All right, finally, into a new room. All right, we should strafe. Most likely there's a, a doll in here. There's gonna be one of those babies that come in, up in here, I bet. So what we need to do is actually put that shortcut icon right there. I don't want to walk down there yet because I'm pretty sure a baby's coming. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Yeah, look at that. I have a strange feeling about that wall. Oh. Can you go check it out? I already did, homie. Wow, more golden hands! Will you be able to slay us? It's here. Let's be careful about this. What is up with this? We are getting like some really good luck lately. We got more golden hands, dude. Man, I rocked that one! Yeah, you sure done. did. There's no upper limit. Matarunda, that's good. So now he can debuff an entire group of enemies if we ever need to debuff an entire group of enemies. The door won't open. It seems to be locked. You notice a black mark near the keyhole. Uh -huh. uh, extra floating current trends indicates that this door would not open unless we have a black key. 
All right, that's fine. We need another key. This is just great gameplay. There's something up ahead. You should try searching over there. Picked up a darkness key. All right, so we gotta basically turn off the lights. We gotta find a way to turn off the lights. There's gotta be a switch in here somewhere then. All right, finally, damn. I see something up ahead. I wonder what it is. There's a piece of notebook paper on the bulletin board. On it is written, minus B, minus B, plus B. What the flippin' any flip, flippity flop, man. All these little freaking equations and shit. And let's leave an event here. Oh? Could this be another scrap of the notebook paper we found earlier? <sighs> it's the same kind of code. The top of the page has been torn off and the bottom seems untouched. From this, we can deduce that this piece must be the very bottom. Isn't this all of them now? The first one was the top piece, then we found the middle, and this here must be the bottom. Yes. I think that's reasonable to assume. Now, if only we could deduce what they all mean. Alright, let's go further in and then I bet we'll find out. Hell, the stairs already? Are you kidding me? Why does this feel like we're missing like a lot of this? We made it to the stairs. All right, so we made it to the last floor. What the hell? This isn't the last floor. This isn't, this is actually, we're back on the third floor. Whoa, that was, um... This place looks super that was kind of confusing. Why don't we take a look around? Alright, so it looks like we created another shortcut. This event... Or, this appears to be a dead end. Huh? Is this something over there? Alright, I'll go take a peek. He is saying that there is something gleaming near your feet, Kanji. You got a long way to go before you understand how dogs feel. So what is it? From the looks of it, it appears to be a syringe. Hmm. I don't see much use for it, but you should hold on to it just in case, Ishiga. Someone overdosed. Alright, event. We must be pretty far in. Does it seem like we still have a long way to go, Rize? Rize? Wait. Rize! Sorry. Oh, what the hell is she doing? Are you okay? Yeah. I don't know why, but I can't search that room. Not only that, I'm having a lot of trouble keeping a line, be uh, line open with you guys. I see. If we're gonna check this place, we should be cautious. Our support might not be able to reach us. Alright, so basically I should save the game before I go in here then. Alright, I think that is the plan. Let me see. What's the quickest way to get over here again? Mm, yeah, I think I'm going to play it safe and actually backtrack a little bit. I don't know what's light. It's probably going to be something in there that I really don't feel like dealing with the bullshit. So I'm actually going to back out really quick, save the game, and then as soon as we come back from resting, we'll check out that room.